Okay, today is Sunday, February the 26th, 2017. Right now, at 1.30 p.m., we have a temperature of 56 degrees. The relative humidity is 60%, which is fairly low considering we had a rain forecast. That's all changed. Uh, we have a barometer. Uh, it's uh, dropped a little bit, 29.95. We've got some low pressure moving through. And we have a dew point of 42 degrees. And right now we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And we can see a number of things happening. We've got the jet stream, uh, this moisture field right here, moving right into uh, Baja. Now, a couple of days ago, we've had very, the last three days, we've had very, very heavy uh, chemtrail spraying uh, as this moisture field moved uh, through Southern California. This has dropped down uh, today. And we had a little bit of rain overnight, about uh, three sixteenths of an inch of rain overnight. And that's from this uh, residual, some of this moisture made it into uh, Southern California. We also have a low spinning here. There's one up here. These are supposed to uh, converge at some point down here over Southern California. Uh, three nights ago, we were told these might merge over Southern California today, but that's not going to happen. Uh, the rain has been stopped because of the chemtrail aerosol, the continuing a heavy spraying going on over Southern California. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, MODIS Today map. Also, we have a very large uh, dual low pressure system. There's actually two lows right here spinning in a sort of a pinwheel pattern. We can see high pressure has been installed around this uh, area of low pressure. We can see the dark area. Uh, that is preventing this next uh, moisture field, all this right here, from getting sucked into that vortex. We see right down here that uh, some of this uh, moisture is wrapping around and getting into that vortex right there. Most of it is uh, being forced to wind around and down across Canada, uh, uh, across uh, Alaska and down through Canada uh, offshore. And we see a new low pressure system uh, starting to get organized right here. And this has a transmitter on it. We can see the uh, the outflow. All this moisture here is being pushed away right there as that high pressure increases right here. So they are preventing this uh, moisture flow from feeding that uh, vortex right there, which is gonna drop down, presumably. We were supposed to have rain all day today and tomorrow, but uh, that has changed. Uh, maybe these, these uh, Oscars have something to do with that, I don't know. At any rate, we have a uh, very large thunderstorm system right down here which is being blown apart with a microwave. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that here in a minute. Let's take a look next at this uh, rainbow map. We can see all this moisture moving into uh, Baja and part of Southern California right here. But if we look at the Doppler map, uh, there's very little rain anywhere. Uh, there's just a little bit of spotty rain around the uh, Southern California area. There's a little bit of snow uh, falling in the mountains. You can see that right here over the uh, Big Bear area and out here uh, just uh, east of Palmdale out in the uh, high desert. And a little bit of rain uh, right here just sort of north uh, east of Santa Ana. So there's not much going on. That's because there's a lot of chemtrail spraying. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, MODIS Today map right now. And what do we see? A lot of chemtrail aerosol spraying. Here's uh, Los Angeles right here. And we can see the uh, moisture field moving in. And then we see this gray stuff all through here, which has been blanketed, sprayed over the top of, uh, of all this incoming moisture. And we can see the, all this gray stuff. As we pan out to the east, we see uh, a lot of uh, natural clouds out here, but we see this gray stuff all interspersed. And that has been sprayed over by these jets over the top of the uh, natural uh, moisture laden clouds moving in and so the result is uh, no rain these are chemtrail desiccants lower the humidity and they cap the atmosphere here we see some more natural clouds there's aerosols all through here uh, right here which is uh, blanketed that over you can't see the uh, clouds because it's been blanketed over with this gray stuff same thing down here So this is why we have not had any rain the last uh, uh, day. We actually we should be having we should have had rain the last three days. I haven't done any videos. I've been busy, but uh, uh, 
the last three days we had this uh, jet stream moving right into uh, the area, right into Southern California, and so that should have brought a lot of rain. But they've been they've been spraying over uh, the moisture field with the chemtrails, and of course that stops the rain, causes the uh, capping inversion layer, and uh, stops the rain. Now we can see that high pressure that's been installed here, and what that's doing. This is going to drop down. We see that there's a new area of low pressure which is trying to spin, but we can see the outflow right here from that uh, high pressure which is being installed. And we can see all that outflow that's going to push this away uh, from that vortex. And this area right here, low pressure is uh, being surrounded. This is all surrounded with high pressure as well. That will uh, prevent the jet stream. We can see the uh, the big uh, dent right here that. Uh, dish shaped feature right right here that high pressure is preventing this uh, warmer jet stream flow from uh, getting wound into this uh, low pressure system right here which should be moving in to southern california now let's go ahead and take a look at this uh this thing down here is being hit with microwave we can take a look uh right here we can see the blast pattern all the way around as this is targeted this is being superheated with microwave energy in several places and when that happens, uh, these clouds are superheated, and we have rapid, rapidly expanding water vapor from all of that uh, uh, heated water vapor. You know, water expands uh, when it's heated, and we know that by boiling water. When you boil water in a pot with a lid on it, the lid starts to uh, rise and make a lot of noise because the uh, water vapor expands. Well, the same thing happens here when these are targeted with micro microwave energy. A pinpoint microwave energy. If we go to the, uh, I take a look here at the uh, visible light map, we can see the uh, dimples, these craters. We'll go ahead and stop the loop and scroll through it frame by frame. Right here, we see that area right there, which is hit. And there's a couple of other areas. We'll move to the next frame. Now, notice what happens when I click to the next frame. This little crater expands outward. This is where the microwave beam hits. This area of thunderstorms. Now it's also hit here and in a couple of other places, which will uh, show up here. We can see that crater right there expands as we move to the next frame. Right here, it gets bigger. And we see a ring, uh, there's a ring actually right here. And that is all that expanding water vapor now what happens when this is hit with microwave it not only causes these features in the superheated water vapor but it destroys the organization of the storm the convection of the storm is disrupted and that causes the uh, the entire process to uh, break down and so this this uh, weakens the storm kills it we can see these we can see these rings here the outflow from that uh, superheated uh, water vapor these uh, blast rings are shooting out. Let's go ahead and just run this. And you can see that big crater right there expand outward. That's the most obvious feature. There's a couple other places here too. They've hit that right up here in this corner. So that's how it's done. And this is how the hurricanes are uh, weakened. Uh, in June, July, we'll see a lot of hurricanes begin to form down in the eastern and east Pacific. They'll move up, and this is what they do. They hit them, uh, they hit, hit these with microwave. Some of these hurricanes, they'll, they'll put on a show. The weather controllers will allow these to move out towards Hawaii, and they'll uh, install high pressure in front of the hurricane, and it will steer it away from Hawaii. Since we've been doing these videos now, they've been allowing these hurricanes to approach very close to the islands. And at the last second, they hit them real hard with this microwave energy. And we can see the uh, effect of that. Let's take a look at this in the water vapor map. We can see the, uh, the uh, blast pattern all the way around and the color changes. Another, another big piece of evidence. We have a magenta right down here. That is the depth of the water vapor. Very intense. And as, after this area is hit, we see the blast pattern and we see that color change, which is the diminishment of the storm system. So we see the thing go from magenta down to a sort of an aqua color as the uh, storm breaks down. And that's uh, what they've done. They've hit this and destroyed it. And we see that blast pattern right down here, especially and up in the corner. 
and we see the outflow in the uh, here in the uh, rainbow map. We can see all that as well. So that's what's going on with that. Um, let's take a look here next at the uh, right here. We have the uh, Western U.S. water vapor map. We can see this low pressure system approaching, uh, moving through Oregon, right down the Oregon coast. And this uh, low pressure right here. Let's take a look. Uh, we have the jet stream right here. This uh, Pineapple Express, which has been redirected. We can see that high pressure there. It's forced this to the south. Uh, here's the uh, surface analysis map. And we can see uh, a number of lows right here. It's three lows moving towards uh, the west coast. And we've got this uh, gale force system out here, which is indicated to be moving to the uh, northwest. And that is this system up right, right here. This thing is uh, moving in the other direction. So hopefully we'll get some more rain out of these, either one of these. Uh, maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Okay, now here's the swell report. We've got 18 foot swells right off of Oregon and, and Washington from that system that's moving down the coast. Got uh, six, seven, eight feet uh, swells right off of California here. And we've got 15 foot seas right out near that other uh, gale force system. All right, now quickly we've got the uh, uh, sea level pressure uh, charts. We've got two surface lows. These uh, extend all the way up to the 300 millibar level. And uh, hopefully we'll get some rain. Here's another low. This is the one moving down the coast. Here's the 500 millibar map. We can see the same two lows there and one up, one up here. So all three of these are surface to 300 millibar lows. Closed lows here. This is another. All three of these. Uh, this is moving the other way. These, are, these two are going to move down towards California. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we'll just uh, leave it right, right here. And this is some pretty good evidence today of how that uh, microwave superheating process uh, works. You see that last pattern very clearly there, and all that detail in the uh, in the visible light map. Okay, that's it. We'll do another one later.